Hello everyone students today our topic is mysql and this is mysql or d1 series in part 2 and in this lecture we are going to discuss some commands of mysql and first is like clause like clause is used with select statement when we want to select a data or select data column wise or row wise or we want to select some records or we want to select some columns then we use select statement and like clause is used with select when we want to filter data or filter records with a uh, and uh, when condition is not very much clear then like clause is used so syntax is just write select and asterisk or star is used to select all the column names then from then table name then after where and then after column like and then value and then value now there are two wild card characters used in like clause these are sign of percentage and sign of underscore when there is a uncertainty in a string or a sub string we use percentage sign but they but when there is a uncertainty in a single character only then we then we use underscore sign for example you want to know a string which start with any letter or set of characters but it contain or it must possess 4x in it whatever with the starting or ending is there it doesn't matter then you just like do just write like percentage x x x x and then percentage so percentage means any string or sub string of that given string but there is only single value missing or single character missing then we just write underscore so you can see here you can see here x x x x underscore underscore means there is a character missing in place of this and uh, when we use underscore at first place that means element missing at first place and uh, when we use underscore at first and last that means there are any two character and uh, string is of six character so six character are fixed in this case because at first place there should be a character at last place there should be character and four characters are already fixed so total number of characters are six in this case now this is a common example just we use with the select statement suppose uh, you write select star from table name suppose table name is uh, employee where salary like 200 percent and what is the meaning of this statement actually finds any value that is start with 200 so it finds with any value start with 200 just like 2000 or 200 even also included 20000 2 lakhs 20 lakhs so any value that start with 200 second is we are selling like percentage 200 in percentage so it basically finds any value that have 100 in any that have that have 200 in any position at a 200 in any position so before 200 there may be a string and after they may they may be a number or even space is also considered space means uh, if there is no value at all it is also included at, in this case so 200 must be there compulsion is 200 must be there in this um uh, in this then where sally third option where sally like underscore zero zero percentage so at place of underscore there should be a number it may be a zero it may be one it may be two it may be three or at a position of hundred there is a set of 
numbers so there are zero 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 one zero whatever is this type so it search all these types of data within a database or within a table and the third is where Sally like two underscore percent two underscore so it find any value that is start with two and are at least three character in length at least means uh, if percentage of their uh, percentage uh, um, there is an empty string then three characters are fixed in this case because two is all on uh, two is uh, we can see that start with two here and two underscore sign are there so two more character are needed and uh, percentage so percentage refers any string which may include null string also so at least three character are required next is where salary like percentage two so finds any value that ends with two because two is the last character or last number here you can see that last number here and uh, in the second last case underscore two percentage three finds any value that have a two in the second position and ends with three we can easily see that and with three and between two and three there may be a set of numbers or uh, two or three and after two there is a possibility of three also because in the case of null string next is where sally like two underscore three so at the position of underscore there may be there should be a single digit either it may be zero it may be one because underscore is there and there is a compulsion of a single digit so this is the use of like clause you may apply this like clause in your uh, sql queries next is a uh, order by clause and uh, as an interest order by clause if you want to uh, if you want to make data in ascending or descending order then order by clause is used the order by keyword short the record in ascending order by default and by default it short the data in ascending order to short the records in a descending order you can use the desc keyword so select syntax is select column name column name from table name then order by column name comma column name then asc or desc asc for ascending and desc for descending and you can use more than one column in the order by clause this example here you can see that there is a table name customer here and uh, it has basically four attributes id name five attributes id name age address and salary and seven records are there so if you want to arrange the data if you want to arrange the data according to name and then after salary so you can write just select star from customers because name of the table is customers and then order by and name first and then after salary now we can see that there are two columns names appear after order by it simply mean that data is first shorted according to the first column name or attribute given here that means according to name and then after if any case two customers have same name then data will be shorted according to the second attribute and in this case second attribute is salary so data will be shorted according to second attribute means salary so you can easily see that in first name is hardik second name is kangna kishan komal so h comes first and after then k and k then k a then k i then k o is there it means kangna kishan and komal then after monica and then which starts from m and then ramesh and then rupali 
so in this case all data is sorted according to name and there is no need to sort the data according to salary because name is sufficient to sort the data and according to the according to salary data will be sorted only in, the, in that case where names are same but in this case all names are unique so data will be sorted according to name next uh, we can see that if you want to show the data in decreasing order or descending order you can just try it or, or you can just try it uh, desc after that column name and uh, we can see that here select then star from customers and then name of clause is order by and then name here name column name is name and then desc actually why, why default data will be shorted in ascending order and if you want to short data in descending order desc keyword must be used next is sql in operator so this is a very important query as far as your exam is concerned and it is always asked in a board examination a single query uh, is there which is related to order by clause so just practice on order by clause next is uh, and one query is related to always like clause these are the two basic important queries next is select in operator as the name suggests in operator so the in operator allow you to specify multiple values in where clause in operator allow you to specify multiple values in a where clause the in operator is a shorthand of multiple or or conditions so we are uh, we all are very familiar to the concept of or when we uh, set or operator between two conditions then either of that condition if true founds true then a statement or record of uh, correspond, uh, for corresponding to that condition will be displayed on your screen and uh, when there are more than one condition then it uh, looks very odd to represent or separate all conditions by using or so in operation is a shorthand of multiple or condition and uh, select column names this is a syntax from table name where column name in the, then value 1 value 2 value 3 and up to so on for example there is a name of table name customers and if you want to find out the address of customer in Delhi, Kolkata or Bhopal so don't write Delhi or Kota or Bhopal just write in in place and remove or and just write in and then pass the name of all addresses within brackets and you can easily find out the address of that customer which belongs to Delhi, Kota or Bhopal so that is the use of in operator and in is basically replace or in or in many cases because it is easy to use and uh, it is shorthand for multiple or condition you can see that this is the output and uh, here you can easily see that these are the name of the customers and uh, client details related to all these three cities Delhi, Kota or Bhopal is there next is a uh, SQL between operators the between operator selects values within a given range always remember that within a given range the value can be number, text or dates the between operator is inclusive that is the most important point and it is asked in so many number of times in my examination and uh, so always remember that between operators inclusive begins and and values are included so both values are included begin and end values both values are included 
for example if we write just as select columns name this is a syntax of between select columns names then after from table name so and with their clause we give a, want to give a condition so just write where then column name between value 1 and value 2 so both values are inclusive and value 1 and value 2 this is a very important point next is uh, there is a query here select star from customers where age between 25 and 30 so this will display the details of all customers whose age are between 13 between 25 and 30 and it also include 25 and 30 you can see that here the name of the customer is kishan and its age is 25 so 25 is included in this and if uh, age of particular customer is 30 also then the, it should be included so let us check the exact data this is the data you can see that name of the table is customer and uh, we can see that no data belongs to age 30 is given here so that's why 30 is not printed here So these are the use of between operator and in operator. So many number of times it is asked in our examination that what is the use of in and between and it is also possible that the question is basically a query is given and uh, asked you to find out the output then according to the condition you should uh, you must know what is the output of that command or query so in and between and always remember that when we use between then both start and end and values both are inclusive included So students, till now we revised uh, six different clause or stay, uh, clause or commands of SQL. First one is create table command, which is a DDL statement, data definition language statement. And uh, as far as examination is concerned, just uh, practice on create table command with constraints, means with primary key, foreign key not null default all these constant uh, are used with the uh, create table commands and uh, you should be aware of this fact then uh, after that insert into command in our last lecture we discussed about insert into command and uh, we know that and there are three different ways to use or access insert into command data using insert into command First is uh, defining column name and uh, value, defining column name and values without defining column name. And third, if you want to insert more than one records at the same time, then it is also possible. Then after third, which is most important, is the select statement. Using select statement, basically we are able to select a data of a particular table, either column wise or row wise so if you want to select the data according to column wise then just give select a statement and then after column name and then from t keyword and then name from after that name of the table and if you want to select record on the basis of particular condition then you can use where clause that is the most important where clause so just like uh, where is maybe any condition where name like or where age is less than 60 or where cell is greater than 10,000. So well, this type of conditions are uh, there with where clause. Next uh, with three topics which we discussed in this lecture is like clause. Like clause is basically used when there is a certain type of uncertainty, uncertainty of data. And this type of uncertainty of data 
basically categorized into two different types again one is uncertainty of a single digit or character and second thing uncertainty of a set of characters for uncertainty for of a single digit we use underscore and for uncertainty of a group of characters or a digits we use percentage signs so both of these are called wild card character wild card characters underscore and percentage and both of these are used with like clause both of these are used like clause so remember this and uh, in this you can easily see that select star from table name where clause like this is a condition x x x x and then percentage and always remember one thing that percentage also include null string null string also there so it also involve the data which equal to x x x x four time x is there next uh, uh, there are some examples given here and you can uh, easily practice on that first of all make a table create a table and then uh, insert the data into that table and after that apply select uh, command and uh, select with where clause and select with where clause with like clause also so you can easily see the changes or uh, you can easily identify the use of wildcard characters that is use of underscore and percentage sign there so uh, underscore is basically used uh, to define a single digital character or to represent a single digital character while uh, percentage is used to define any string including null string also so when you say that we are selling like 200 percent it means that it, it starts from 200 and after that there may be a string or may not be a string and whatever with the string it doesn't matter but a string a possibility of a string is there so Sally like 200 or 2000 or 20,000 or 2 lakhs is there so these all types of data must be included when you just write where Sally like 200 percent in second case just like where Sally like percent 200 percent it means it start from any set of numbers or characters obviously Sally is in numbers so set of numbers are there it may be 1 0 2 3 or 1 2 or 3 4 or 1 2 3 or 4 5 1 sometime sub, uh, such type of uh, set of characters are there even the characters which uh, if there is a there is no no digit at all it is also acceptable because percent is also accept null so after that 200 is there and after 200 there is again or there may be a string again so 200 percent in case number third there is there is uh, there are at least three correct three digits because two digits are already given and first digit for first digit there is a use of underscore sign and after that percentage it means that there may be a thing also here so then uh, two underscore percent underscore percent is there so finds any value that is start with two and are at least three character in length why this is written as here here is three character at least because two underscore are there and one digit is fixed which is two so three digits are there and then percent two finds any value that ends with two and then underscore two percent three so two characters are also there two and three and then Sally like two underscore three in this case again there are two correct uh, two digits and uh, underscore represent a digit so there is a compulsion of three digits the number should be of three digit in this case 
and must we start with two and ends with three so this type of conditions are solved using like clause and again order by clause as I told you that order by clause is used to uh, used to basically represent data in ascending order or in descending order by default data is in ascending order and one more important thing you can use more than one column name when you want to uh, represent your data in ascending order using order by clause if data is ascending order and uh, in such a way that uh, there is a repetition of data for example you if you want to find out the um, data in ascending order according to name and two students have same name then data will be shor shorted according to the second value if given if given if not given then it will be shown as the as the data given in, in original table then uh, for descending order desc keyword is used for ascending order you can use esc but uh, it is by default so no need to use it but for your general knowledge and for your examination you should remember that esc used to increase the rate to uh, show the data in ascending order next is uh, you can see here that uh, name and Sally as I told you that uh, it is sorted according to name and after that if there is a possibility that two names are same then it will be sorted according to salary and uh, next is uh, in operator so always remember that in operator is used and basically it is shorthand for multiple or condition and you can see that if there are more than one conditions here there are more than one conditions and all these conditions are separated by all statement then uh, not trying to write or more than one time just write in, in place of or at a single time here and after that within parenthesis given the give the different values in which you have to select one value so for as the uh, example given here select a star from customer where address in delhi quota or bhopal so address will be selected from delhi quota or bhopal so among these three address one address will be selected you can see here and last is between operator and one of the most important thing between uh, regarding to between operator is that bo between operator is inclusive always remember that it is inclusive and uh, this type of question is asked so many number of times in exam regarding to between a student find out in, uh, find out them in trouble uh, to answer the question because between include both begin and end values so value 1 and value 2 both are included in this case so this is a revision 2 and uh, so you just go to your textbook whatever you understand from this video just uh, see the, your textbook and find out the details of uh, that topic and uh, do more and more questions regarding to that topic and it basically what happens after doing this type of uh, activities is you have a good knowledge and a clear cut idea about the commands and uh, these commands are basically asked from uh, asked about uh, asked about of 10 marks so if you have clear cut idea how to use them or what is the use or purpose of these commands you can you uh, you can use these commands in different perspex, uh, perspective in databases as well and uh, for the examination if this type of questions are, are asked then uh, you are able to do that questions so i hope uh, this is a uh, meaningful information to all of you for 12th informatic practice students and this is a revision two. in our next video we will revise some more mysql commands so thanks for watching this video